A new study by American company Recurrent says that some electric cars lose as much as 31% of their range when the temperature goes above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. A recently commissioned and revealed study says that Tesla vehicles, Tesla electric cars, with a heat pump are significantly more efficient than their rivals, particularly not just in cold weather, but in hot weather. Not not many people realize that in hot weather, yes, your batteries can have a fair bit of degradation or capacity loss. Tesla's heat pump is able to offset the loss that its rivals are having. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. I recently made a video which compared around 30 different electric cars. Now, I didn't do the comparison. A major company, the biggest electric car brand in Norway, LBIL24 did this. Now, they compared all these cars. They do it every single year. They take usually between 20 to 30 electric cars and they test their range in the real world. They take them all on the same day. They all do the same route. And the surprising realization is that Tesla's vehicles are very different. Now, we know that. We know this as an objective fact because BYD's Addo 3 was tested against the Tesla Model Y. The Tesla Model Y is a much bigger car than the BYD Addo 3. Now, both of those cars were supplied on the day and driven in the test using exactly the same battery identical battery pack. Both of them come from BYD. That's how we know that. Both of them use BYD's blade battery. Same size, same technology, identical. The Addo 3, while being the much smaller car, had a lot less range in the real world. In fact, it had, I believe, 75 kilometers or around close to 50 miles less range, even though the car was much smaller. At the time when this data was revealed, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I was thinking, how is this possible? This doesn't make sense. Well, this recent study about Tesla's heat pumps could be one of the reasons why the Tesla vehicle could go so much further on exactly the same battery, even though it was the much bigger car. We know that various external factors can affect the estimated range advertised by EV makers, one of which is temperature, including extreme heat and cold. But it seems that Tesla EVs are less susceptible to the phenomenon in hot weather than rivals are. How exactly heat affects range has been studied by different companies and engineers. Had a look at this. They came up with an answer after analyzing battery readings from 7,500 different vehicles. The research included EVs from various brands, including the Chevrolet Bolt EV, the Hyundai Kona EV, and the Ford Mustang Mach-E. To name a few, some cars got more range in hot weather and eventually lost some range while others fell. And the Kona, for example, stayed relatively stable. But the standout models were the Tesla vehicles that they tested, which had the least range degradation in hot weather conditions. In fact, carbars.com says that the curve was so smooth that you'd think the test was conducted in completely different conditions, but they weren't. All cars were tested under the same conditions. According to the research, The slow EV range degradation across varying hot temperatures results from Tesla's use of a heat pump instead of standard automotive air cooling systems. Now, I'm going to get comments in the comment section. People are going to be saying, oh, every EV now comes with a heat pump. Uh, Please, I beg you, I cannot moderate the comments. It's too much work. That's false. If you see these comments in the comment section, please don't listen to these people. Uh, It's very hard for me to combat the false statements that are made on this channel. Uh, in the comment section, a lot of people saying things like, oh, every EV has a heat pump. Well, the truth is that uh, the most expensive Mercedes EVs in over the last few years in the US haven't had heat pumps. You're talking EVs that cost more than $100,000. So no, absolutely false. Many EVs do not yet have a heat pump. Uh, in fact, much of the time you've got to pay extra to get a heat pump in your EV. So before you buy an electric car, make sure, make sure that You read the fine print, make sure that it does come with a heat pump. You don't have to pay an extra few thousand dollars to get it. And if you do have to pay those extra few thousand dollars, it's worth doing it pretty much always. Heat pumps are said to be more efficient at cooling in the summer and heating in the winter. But when they activate, more components require electricity, reducing range. This is inevitable, but Tesla's pump seems to be a standout performer. Well, this is what Recurrent said when they tested it. 
The latest heat wave in the southern and western US suggested Teslas, though, are not totally immune to extreme temperatures. In a report by Automotive News, Carlos Nossa, a scientist who drives a Tesla Model 3, said that he noticed hot weather affects his EV's range, having fewer miles left after driving. Charging is also another issue during heat waves. Last year, the state of Texas and California asked EV owners to save energy by not charging their vehicles following a heat wave. Carbaz said the root of EV range degradation is the breakdown of battery components in hot weather conditions. While hot weather typically won't damage your EV battery, cooling systems have to work twice as hard to lower the battery temperature, which requires more electricity. That heats circuits as well. Once you're above 104 degrees Fahrenheit, you start to have a breakdown of the passive emission layer on the anode, and that breakdown will then cause consumption of the liquid electrolyte, which will shorten the lifetime of your battery. This was coming from Greg Less, the technical director at the University of Michigan's Battery Lab. This is really important information, guys. If you live in a hot climate, if you live in Phoenix, if you live in Southern California, if you live in um, places such as Dallas, Houston, Texas, etc. You want to know this. You don't want to be destroying your battery pack because you're running it in hot temperatures and you don't have a heat pump. We know the Nissan Leaf without a heat pump sees significant battery degradation much, much faster than vehicles with one. If you live in a hot climate, I highly suggest you don't buy any EV, whether it's a Tesla or otherwise, without a heat pump. I'm not saying people should buy a Tesla, I'm saying you definitely need to consider that the heat will damage your battery significantly if over 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Owning an EV has its pros and cons, of course, but there are ways to mitigate the problems with heat caused from charging by using a slower charger. This is one of the reasons why fast charging your EV affects battery degradation. Charging up to 100% isn't ideal, unless you have a lithium ion phosphate battery where, well, Tesla recommends you do charge to 100%. The reason is it can damage the battery cells through the process that I just mentioned. Of course, you should avoid extreme temperatures by parking in garages or planning your routes beforehand if you can. Now I'm gonna sum up what I've just looked at and give you an idea of how heat can affect your EV. Heat can, of course, have a significant impact on the range of your EV. The effect of heat on EV range is primarily due to how it affects the battery. Now, number one, battery efficiency. High temperatures can lead to reduced thermal efficiency in the battery, meaning it may not store and release energy as effectively. The chemical reactions within the battery that generates electricity can become less efficient in hot conditions, leading to reduced energy input. Point two, Heat can cause battery degradation. You don't want that. This is the absolute worst situation. Prolonged exposure to high temperatures, especially if you don't have a heat pump in your car, can accelerate battery degradation. Over time, this can lead to a decrease in the overall capacity of your battery, resulting in a reduced driving range. Number three, cooling systems. Electric vehicles use cooling systems to regulate the temperature of the battery during charging and driving. In hot weather, these cooling systems have to work harder to keep the battery at an optimal temperature, which can draw additional power and reduce overall range. Number four, air conditioning. This will affect you as well. Using the air conditioning system in the vehicle can contribute to reduced range. Cooling down the cabin in hot weather requires additional energy from the battery, which can further impact driving range. Number five, battery safety. Extremely high temperatures can pose safety risks for the battery, especially if it's not a lithium iron phosphate battery, which seem to be able to handle hot temperatures better. To prevent overheating and potential damage, the vehicle's battery management system may limit the battery's charging capacity or discharge rate, reducing the overall driving range. So you can see here, not all EVs are created equal. It's really worth doing your research and considering what affects you the most. Now, if you don't really care about battery degradation, you know, you don't really need to worry about this. But if the range of your EV matters and you don't want to damage your battery pack, you really need to consider which EV you buy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.